whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me, throw me. Hack me. Sick. Okay. Welcome, boys and girls, to River Valley Students. I am your host today, Carter. And today, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the spirit, okay? I'm not talking about banana or apple or an orange or a lime. I think that's a lime. Anyway, we're not talking about that today, okay? We're talking about a specific fruit of the spirit. We're talking about love today, okay? So let's dive into our scripture today. But the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful. Today we're going to focus on love, okay? So love is the most important because God is love, obviously. Let's get on to our story for today, the prodigal son. Luke 15, 11 through 14 says, Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger son spoke to his father, and he said, Father, give me my share of the family property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up all he had. Then he left for a country far away. There he wasted his money on wild living. He spent everything he had. Then the whole country ran low on food, so the son didn't have what he needed. So today our story, The Prodigal Son, starts off like this. I'm gonna be the father and my son, Brat, is gonna come get some money. Big hey Dad, I need some money inheritance. Inheritance, good job. <laughs> okay, be careful. I'm gonna go party! Through 16 says, He went to work for someone who lived in that country. That person sent the son to the fields to feed the pigs. The son wanted to fill his stomach with the food the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Carl, Jacob, I need some money. Can't pay you in cash, but I can pay you and you can eat what the pigs eat. So, uh, do you want the job? Sure. Alright, over there. <laughs> this might be good. I'm gonna go repent to my father. Then he began to think clearly again. He said, how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough food? But here I am dying from hunger. I will get up and go back to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. While the son was still a long ways off, his father saw him. He was filled with tender love for his son. He ran to him, he threw his arms around him, and kissed him. Luke 15, 17 through 20. Son! Have a feast, okay? Feast time. What are you doing? Slaves. Hey, my, my what son do you was lost. mean, father? Hey, my son was lost and now he's found. You Luke 15, 21 through 24 says, The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. 
Bring the fattest calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. This son of mine was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. So they began to celebrate. That was an amazing story. The prodigal son, the son came back after he was lost. That's amazing, right? God showed his love. God shows his love just like the father showed his son after he left and took all the money. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me this week. That was a fun play to do with my brothers. They loved it. They really did. Um, I hope that Daryl's back next week because this is a lot of work, but it was definitely worth it. Thank you guys.